Hello, Jen. <laughs> Hi, Eva. <laughs> Today, we're going to do a little bit of a taste test. Um, I, I feel like this <laughs> recipe got a lot of visceral reaction yes, from readers. For good reason. Mm -hmm. um, so today we have a banana meatloaf. It is courtesy of the Free Press's first cooking columnist. Her name is Mrs. Madeline Day. And this was a recipe that she shared with housewives in Winnipeg in 1935 during one of her cooking uh, demonstrations in the city. 4,000 ladies showed up to the Winnipeg Civic Auditorium and <laughs> she taught them a whole bunch of different things, including how to make a banana meatloaf. So. So. Now, this has, you were telling me before we started rolling, mm -hmm. this has layers yes. of bananas in it. It is a layer of meatloaf. And then we have a nice layer of banana with like, applesauce and cracker crumb and stuff in the middle and then on top of that is more meatloaf and i have to say the meatloaf and bacon mixture, and bacon bacon on top of course and i have to say the meatloaf mixture like it sounds it seems like pretty regular like yeah. it would be good on its own so it's not just meatloaf the way you serve the whole dish is with a delicious uh pear canned pear that you fill with cream cheese, bake in the oven, and then top with mint jelly and a maraschino cherry, of course, because, like, adorable presentation. <laughs> I'm going to suggest that it looks a bit like something that has become infected. <laughs> it's not. It's, it's not. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> it's certainly not the prettiest garnish I've ever seen. However... I'm willing to trust the process. I'm yeah. willing to trust the process on Love both it. these things. Yes. So yes. should we try these out? I think we need to Is try these out. Is there a particular out. order? I think we we should probably plate Begin. up with the, the meatloaf okay. and then have our little pear on the side. Okay. <laughs> Why did I agree to do this with you? <laughs> well, tell me, tell me about your initial reaction because you're kind of so, nervous for a different reason. <laughs> I, so I'm kind of nervous. I'm going to like this. Yeah. Because some people really don't like meat and fruit together, like the sweet and savory. Yes. I don't mind it. Like I like one of my favorite breakfast sandwiches is actually like a banana peanut butter bacon oh, yeah. situation. Yeah. So I feel like there go. <laughs> this will work. Oh wow. Somehow. Like just my the the I feel like this needs to be shown okay. a little bit more intensely. The bananas like are very present. Yes. Yes. They are really asserting themselves here. Like, there was a lot of bananas. Called for three bananas, and, like, I don't know if bananas back in the day were maybe, like, smaller than they are now, but it was, like... Oh, for sure. Oh, yeah, it was bananas a ton of banana. are bananas. Yeah, they're, like, GMO bananas now, right? <laughs> they're bananas. Oh, my goodness. Really looks like a layer cake. It does. <laughs> it does. Okay, I'm procrastinating. In not... A good way. Oh my gosh. Sorry, okay. Madeline Day. Okay, okay. I'm gonna try and get like a, all the flavors. A bit with the banana in the middle. <clears throat> Three times of fear factor this <laughs> <I> just <laughs> <laughs> Like the flavors together are not the worst. No, it's really banana forward. Yep. <laughs> At yes, first. hundred percent banana forward. But this meatloaf. Mm-hmm. Is very good. Yeah, it's not a bad meatloaf. No. I don't hate it. I don't hate it either. <laughs> yeah, it's really interesting. At the same time, however, that's enough of that. Yeah, right? We were both just talking about how we're eating this over lunch and yeah. uh, we're hungry. But, uh, but honestly, I don't know if I'm hungry enough to finish a whole slab of this. But, but I sort of am like, I would come back to this. Well, wow. well, okay. <laughs> what do you think about? Should we try our yeah, delicious these, sides? These look <laughs> almost worse to me. No. <laughs> the cream cheese actually is like kind of nice. Mm -hmm. It tastes a little bit like a cheesecake. It's like fruit salad, cheesecake version. Okay. I take back what I said about these things. 
looking gross. <laughs> like, they still look gross. I don't think you have to take that back. Uh, these are delicious. Do you think they should be eaten with the meatloaf? Like, or is it just a side? Just really complete the fruit salad flavor. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm. I think on its own it's better, but you could definitely do that. You could also serve this as like a dessert. Yes, I think that could be like a very tasty dessert just on its own. Well, there you have it. <laughs> Thanks for sharing this experience with thank me. Thank you. I was—I uh, didn't want to be the only one to almost gag on camera, so thank you for sharing in this. Uh, Anytime. And it turns out it wasn't that bad. 